yourself. Yeah. Your head motion. Hello, 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 and welcome to today's podcast. My name is Adam Potash. You're listening to the Approach Podcast, and I have a very, very, very special guest with me today. Monica, how are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't like to play favorites. I, you know, all my members or clients are like children, you know, you have special clause, but I think you're one of my favorite clients. So I'm so excited for you to be here with me today. Thank you. I'm excited <laughs> as well. Um, you know, I think, you know, obviously you're local, so, so it makes it cool that you, you know, are local and we live in similar neighborhoods, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, we're always sharing funny texts back and oh, forth, yes. <laughs> Keep keeping each other on our toes. Mm-hmm. Um, but obviously you're today, you're here today to discuss your journey. You were, when, yes. how, how long ago did you come start the program? So I started the program in November. So 10, 10 months ago. Oh, before we get into it, Monica was so nice and brought me black coffee. And she said it was so easy to order for, for everybody because on um, the approach, you have to drink black coffee. So thank you, Monica. I wish I had like an applause button. I know. And now we're choosing to drink black coffee. <laughs> enough. Yeah. Um, so very easy choice when it comes to people doing it or fasting. Yes. Uh, so you were here in November. Yes. And? Um, I came basically because I was just sick of being in a rut. Okay. And I have a two-year-old, a four-year-old, and I just... And a dog. And a dog. And I just felt like crap all the time. Yeah. And I've always had the fitness aspect down, and it's the food part that I struggled with. So I found you um, through your sister-in-law, and I actually saw a lot of recommendations on our local Facebook page. And <laughs> it's kind of cool when someone puts in, like, looking in for a health coach, and, like, everybody... Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm semi-famous. You are. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. I'm, like, fan girl here right now. Uh, <laughs> And I think, um, you know, my journey is a little unique because I didn't really care. I mean, losing weight is amazing, but I wanted to get my blood work back in check. I wanted to start feeling great. And the weight loss was just a uh, Uh, nice addition. Yeah. Yeah, And and I think that's one of the why you're here and and why I want to have you on this podcast. Because everybody's journey is different. It's Mm -hmm. not always about weight loss. Yes, you might have wanted to lose some weight, mm-hmm. but for you, is you wanted to get that energy back. You know, you Absolutely. felt yourself, I don't know, maybe aging a little bit, or, oh, totally. or running around with the kids, and yeah. and weren't at your optimal health. Yeah, and it's almost, you know, the, the snacking when you have littles around, it's so tempting, and I just couldn't get that under control, and I needed to figure out something. I was so tired of reading about this, this fat, or this fad, and this fad, and this fad, and yeah. I wanted something sustainable. Right. So, um, had you done intermittent fasting before? I had not. It was one of those things that I'd seen information about, but I didn't, wasn't going to do the research on my own. Didn't, you know, <laughs> wasn't something I was going to dive into. All right. And so, you started in November. Mm-hmm. How are you doing now? I am doing wonderful. Um, I, I feel great. And what is so important is that it's, like you always say, it's a it's a lifestyle, but it, it truly it truly is. Um, you know, this weekend um, it was my birthday, and we were down in the Keys, and I was nice. still able. I saw, I saw to, Instagram on the boat. Yes, I was a little jealous that I, I didn't get an invite. I know, I know. <laughs> um, and but I was still able to. It's not hard. It's real food. You don't have to worry about. Oh my goodness, did I pack this supplement? Did I pack this supplement? And in all honesty, the when I quote unquote cheat. And I do indulge. Eat, yes, when I <laughs> when I live real life, you know, yeah. I feel like shit the next day. Yeah. And and it's almost it's funny. My mother in law and I were talking about this. Is that if I eat before my like noonish period and substantially before, I will be so much hungrier yeah. throughout the day, and yeah. I'll wake up the next day and want to eat immediately. Yeah. And it's so wild that you know now that is by far the easiest part for me 
is not eating until around noon. And I've said this a million times, and I say it again. Rachel's favorite line is, "It's one less thing you have to think about." Yes, yeah. it's so true. It really is. Um, it, it was funny you say that because um, what was I going to say? I had a client come in here yesterday who started their first week the week before, and they had they were biting on some of their kids' orange glazed chicken or something. She's like. Even after a week of doing this, if she had something that wasn't the greatest and she already felt the effects. Absolutely. You know, so I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that how easily you your body wants to go back to default of where it should feel mm -hmm. and how it should, you know, want to do things. And I think sometimes it's necessary almost to remind yourself why you're doing this because, you know, like you said, your client, you can go a week and then you sort of regress and you realize, why am I doing this? I feel like crap. Is it really worth it for those two seconds for it to taste yummy and then you realize no this is not it's not right yeah, yeah, nothing not tastes as good as healthy feels no amen to that <laughs> um now you had i, I want to say like a little bit of a, a down part right in this journey like oh, you, had, yeah. you had a point where you're like oh i'm getting a little off track and i think Absolutely. that happens for everybody yeah. so so maybe some advice for our listeners and viewers so some advice that i think is is huge is is to realize you're human and you can make one mistake, but that one mistake doesn't need to turn into 46 mistakes. Right. And that for me was um, something, and you know, I, I took a lot of your tips that you shared with, you know, take a step back, physically remove yourself. You know, if I wanted a bite of that cake, okay, have a bite and then walk away, go do something, drink a glass of water, distract water, yourself. Yeah. And then you realize five minutes later, and sometimes this is so pathetic, but I would get out my phone and set a timer for five minutes and I would tell myself, okay, if you still want it in five minutes, you can have more. And I, I never still want it. I don't it. think that's pathetic at all. I think that's a great tool to use. And yeah. maybe, maybe people need to pick that up as like setting reminders. You know, I tell people set reminders for drink water, like in the morning, yes. 9 a.m., drink water. You yeah, know? Um, absolutely. It's all about, you know, transferring those habits or, or replacing those bad habits with better ones. Absolutely. We talk about it all the time. So you just made a habit for yourself. Yep. And, so. and another thing I think that is really important is to realize that your health journey starts in the kitchen and is 80 if not more percent in the kitchen everybody wants to get healthy and get fit and they they go to the gym well that's great um and that's when i struggle the most is when i have big because you know when i first started i was exercising a lot and adam said cool i'm <laughs> exercising and i said that's a non-negotiable but we found a happy medium yeah and now the days I struggle the most are like Saturday I did a 12 and a half mile run and I, well, I wanted to get so, to that too. Yeah, so I was that. so hungry and yeah, I did indulge a little bit because I was, you know, I'm like, okay, I can definitely, you know, I've already broken my fast um, with my nutrition along the way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I came home and I had bacon and pancakes. It was <laughs> delicious. But it's those days, but then I, you know, I really have to keep myself in check because I've already broken the fast. I, I can't make excuses. Oh, well, I've done this, so now I can sort of cheat. It's and, a lifestyle. And, and that comes with time, too, right? Like, so, so obviously, you know your body so well after doing this for many, many months that you were mm -hmm. able to do that or allowed to do that, I should say. And, and you know, and know that it's just kind of a, a moment. Yeah. And then you get back and, yeah. and you and know, kind of check yourself. And that's the advice that I really have for people is is you're human and if you make one mistake that's okay but it doesn't have to spiral right if it's where like you kind of do that mistake then then are okay with it then do another one and do another one and do another one and then, then and then you break you break your yeah you know it's not a good situation it, no. uh so you said you did 12 mile run now when we first started up you had done a marathon before i had done a marathon in 2008 so 2008 so this is one of my favorite stories right so yes. I, you know, I follow Monica on Instagram or Facebook, whatever it is, and, and I don't even know who you are anymore because I see your runs and like, I'm jealous of your runs and I'm a big time runner, as you yeah. know, um, and you were not doing anything no. when we started. So I have to thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. So okay, I even saw you. a picture of you and your husband running, okay, oh, which yeah. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. So it's so funny when I started, you know, um, I was going two days a week and sort of playing around at the gym um, because like, I was a college athlete. I've always known how to exercise mm -hmm. and work out, but, and so we were setting goals. So this was early December and I said, you know, I want an exercise goal. And I'm like, why don't you do a race? And I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to run. Like I want to lift, I don't want to run. <laughs> so, but because you said that to me, I was like, oh, they're effort, now I have to do it. Now I have to sign up for something. 
Because I'm not gonna let you down, and, and we're both very similar in the sense that we're very competitive. So if uh -huh. you say that, I'm okay. Yeah, I do. So I was laying in bed one night, and I randomly looked online, and I said, oh, I've always wanted to do a Disney. Well, I said, I said, sign up for it, and you, then the rest will. Yeah, you, yeah, and you told me to sign right. up for one. So here I am, like looking at little five Ks, and so I signed up for a five K, mm -hmm. and. You know, and it was great timing because it was the winter here, so that's when all the runs are. Mm -hmm. So then I'm laying in bed and I see randomly, I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to do a Disney run. I heard those are fun. So I looked and I saw that they had a spot available for the Disney Princess Half Marathon. And it was like a month, a month and a half away. So I was like, oh, let me sign up. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, I can't just do the half. If they have a challenge, I need to do the challenge, which was 19.3 miles. So I got into that, but I have to say, I wouldn't have even started this like new chapter of my life if you hadn't said sign up for a race well that's awesome and I, i'm i'm inspired by what you're doing and how many runs have you done so far so since <laughs> so <laughs> since january so i did the, the 19.3 princess in in february uh -huh. i did another half in um april no the end of march then i signed up for because you know we're in south florida so things slow down um i signed up for a 19.3 Disney run in November. I, I'm doing the Dopey Challenge in January, which is... Which, what do, I tell people what Dopey is. So, Dopey is insanity. It's over four days. It's a 5K, 10K, half marathon, full marathon. Mm -hmm. So, it's, I think, 48.6 miles. So, that's January. And then February, I signed up for the Princess Challenge again, which is 19.3. And then in April, I'm doing the Springtime Surprise, which is... So, you, you've... May a complete transformation, now you're out of your mind. I am, and I'm so <laughs> blessed that I have a wonderful family that supports me. My husband's like, you go do you, babe, have yeah. fun. Um, yeah. So, no, I think it's incredible. I was also gonna talk about um, like how this has changed other aspects, right? So your health is, like how this has snowballed into other things, you know, getting healthy. So, um, one thing that it did, my, my husband has always been extremely active, and he has one of those he can't sit still um, personalities, and I've always been jealous of it. And his version of sleeping in is waking up at seven. That, that's that's and, like me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And now I'm up early with him because I'm doing a long run, or I, you know, I get home and I just have so much energy. Whereas before I would sleep in and then I would get up and kind of, you know, sort of do my thing. But now I feel like because we're such an active family, mm -hmm. and now. When I when I get up, we're you know we're getting the laundry done, we're we're getting things done around the house, and then by ten a.m. we're going and you know we're swimming or we're doing things with the kids, and yeah, yeah. it's just I I'm just so much happier and more pleasant to be around because I feel good. Right, you know I talk about this all the time of, of like how the mood changes and your attitude changes, and, and I don't think people make like the correlation like how by by losing weight how is it going to change this or or by like eating this how is it going to change like. And there's a direct correlation between all of this. Yeah, and especially, you know, when we go out to eat or, you know, before I would put on 10 different outfits and ask my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I've always been such a confident person that I ask, but I really don't, don't care the response. But now I like put on one outfit and I, I don't care because I know I'm healthy, I know I'm fit, and I we're ready to go. Well, I, I remember, uh, this was months ago now, you went to a wedding and you sent me a picture yes. and you were like so excited I about was. this. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and people have commented. And people commented. And, and now what's funny, at first people had commented, oh, you look really good. You look, you know, you've lost some weight. And I really only lost about 10 pounds. Um, but now people are commenting, wow, you are so fit. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. You know, that's what I'm working for is right. being fit. And, and everything looks better. Everything shines better. I mean, you're glowing, yes. your skin, your hair, like and everything. Every yeah. <laughs> But, but I know, I mean, and I think that's important for people to understand listening to this or watching mm -hmm. this is that like, it transforms every aspect of your life. It's not just, you know, weight loss. Absolutely. Um, and so. one thing I think too, that people need to, to realize about the approach is that it really truly is sustainable throughout life, throughout celebrations, throughout um, the good times, the bad times. It's so easy. And you said something to me that I really, because I'm, like I said, I'm, I get obsessed with things, and so when I first started, I'm like, I need this book to read, this book to read, tell me, I need to do all my research, and you, you were like, Monica, chill. <laughs> like, you're on hour one, calm yeah. down. Yeah. But you made such a great point that with intermittent fasting, why it's not more popular, there's no way for the industry to make money yeah. in it. 
And so when people question it, like, why isn't it out there more? Um, I think that's a great thing to sort of think about. How are, you, how are the industries going to make money on it? Yeah, I have a theory that in the next, I think, 10 years, we're going to see a humongous shift on, you know, just educating people and that people understanding that intermittent fasting is just the way to go. Yeah. I, I read a line the other day because I got still am researching and stuff like that. Um, we wouldn't exist as humans if we didn't intermittent fast. Wow. And this goes back to we were hunter gatherers, right? So, so we wouldn't have sustained yeah. if we didn't. If you had to eat every three had, hours. Right, right. We wouldn't have. We wouldn't have made it. So, um, but um, I think it's amazing. Any last tips for everybody? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I guess the, the last really tips that I have is just try it. Um, yeah. You know, if it doesn't work for you, which I highly, you know, I, I doubt. I, I know it's going to. But if it doesn't, at least you tried. And mm. and you know, it's not that hard. It's it's just. It's once you get started, it's very maintainable. And even my mother-in-law, she started doing it, and she told me she's 68 years old, and that woman never stops. And we we saw her this weekend. I'm like, what did you drink? What got into you? How much caffeine have you had? She's like, I've had none. I just haven't eaten it. I'm like, you go, girl. Yeah. Um, And so just what do you have to lose by trying something new? You're not going to lose. You know, you're not going to be out thousands of dollars. You have an off day, and you like, or you get healthy. Oh, yeah, the worst thing. The happiness right. you get healthy and turn things, you know. Right. And yeah. people are always ask me, like, you know, how quickly does it work? I'm like, first of all, things that you're doing now aren't working. So yes. why are you worrying about how quickly? Like, yes. let's put the brakes on first of all the, you know, the bad stuff. And yeah. Start incorporating some, some better stuff. Yes. So, um, well, awesome. Listen, I think you're amazing. Oh, um, thank you. I so appreciate you being on here with me. I think you're my first interview live here at the station. Ooh. <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough. You are the older brother that I, you know, my adopted older brother that I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm one of the guys. Yeah. And we'll I keep on that. entertaining each other with our memes back and Oh, forth. yes. And our motivational quotes that, you know, and sharing audiobooks. And yeah. And, and that's, you know, that's really, you know, to your point, that's part of the approach as well, just becoming the family camaraderie. That's, that's what I wanted for me, and I've been doing this for 15 years now, and, you know, I always wanted that family oh, yeah. atmosphere. And now so. what we talk about is maybe, like, 10% fitness or weight loss. <laughs> Politics. And, yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and... We won't get into there. No, calling, <laughs> calling each other out on stuff. Right. Like, hey, did you? But that's, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's you got, you're building family, and, yeah. and it's also important, you know, I don't want to let you down, just like you don't want to let you, you know, I tell, I tell people, my, my, my um, accountability is my members, where I'm maybe my members accountability, it's the exact opposite for me, I don't want to let my members down, so I stay healthy and fit, mm-hmm. and it works the same way for me, and so, 32 miles, and 30, <laughs> yes, <laughs> just, no. yes, that was insane, um, Incredible. Well, thank you again so much, you are so welcome, um, thank you everybody for listening online and watching on TikTok. I appreciate it. If you guys want any more information on the approach, uh, simply go to www.adampotash.com. You can always email us 24-7 info at adampotash.com. Thank you again so much, Monica, for being here with us. You are so welcome. Take care, guys. All right. That was fun. That was great. See, it's like all hyping. I know. Uh, Let's see if we have any people here that... <laughs> I just watched stuff that people